Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox Android. So in this video, we're going to learn how to implement a tab layout along with the fragments into our Android application, right? So let me just give you a demonstration of what we're going to get by the end of this video. So if you can see on my mobile screen, there are three tabs that says chats, status and calls, right? So if I just swipe it left, so you can see, I can navigate to different tabs, right? and we do not change the activity we feed these tabs with the fragments so this is what we're going to learn by the end of this video so if you want to learn this make sure you watch this video till the end so without wasting any time let's get started So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So first we're going to design the front end part. So for that, first we need a tab layout, right? So let me insert a tab layout. So I'm going to construct it horizontally and vertically to the parent. So let me go to the split window. So here we'll change the name of the tabs. So first one is chats. The second one is status. The third one is calls, right? And now we need the, let us give it a ID as well. let us call it as tab layout only and now we need a view pager so inside this view pager we're gonna feed our fragments in real time right so the width should be match parent and the height is wrap content so we'll constrain it to the parent horizontally and vertically the bottom should be constrained to the parent but the top should be constrained to the bottom of this tab layout right and we'll give it an id let us call it as view pager only you can give whatever id you want to so that is all we need to do in this xml resource file so for feeding the fragments i'll create three fragments so just right click on the app go to new fragment and blank fragment so this way we're gonna add three fragments so let me quickly do that so okay let us come here and let us change this text to tab one and let us set the grav gravity to center the color of the text should be black the size should be 30 dp i guess or maybe 40 dp yeah perfect okay let me copy this and paste it to the another two fragments let it build we'll just paste this and we'll change it to tab 2 do the same in this as well so now we're gonna go to the java code so we do not want all of this right so let me delete this till here we just need this method right on create view except that we can delete everything so if you do not want to add fragments by the id and you want to create it yourself so you just need to create a layout resource file and the java class that that implements fragments and you need to override this on create view right so to save some time i added these fragments in this way So okay we are good to go so now to feed the data inside this view pager we need to make an adapter so i'll just create a adapter class 
I'll call it as VP adapter. Now this will extend the fragment page adapter, right? Just click here, press Alt Enter, implement methods, and we're gonna implement these two methods, right? And now we need to create a constructor. So Alt Enter, create constructor, and click on the second one because the first one is deprecated. You can work with that as well. So let us not use that. So now here we need two array list. So the first array list will contain the elements of fragment type. So let us call it as fragment array list. So new array list. And the second one will contain the strings, right? So basically that strings will be the heading. fragment title right so first we're gonna override this method get item count right so here we're gonna return fragment array list dot size and inside this get item we're gonna return fragment array list dot get we will get the fragment according to the position so we're gonna pass the position here we need to create a method that will add the fragments from our main activity to this array list fragment fragment and a string type title right so inside this method fragment array list dot add fragment and fragment title dot add title right so we need to overwrite one more method that is get page title So we'll return the title from this fragment title or illustrate. So that is all we need to do inside this adapter. Right now we'll go to our main activity. So here we need to declare two variables. The first one is for the tab layout. Let us call it as tab layout only. And we have a view page as well. let us refer to these view elements now we're gonna set the view pager along with the tab layout that will be or this view pager right so let us create the object of a adapter class so we'll call it as a vp adapter only so we'll create the object for the same so first we're gonna pass the get sport fragment manager and then we're gonna pass this fragment page adapter dot behavior resume only when current fragment right so let us now use that method add fragment so vp adapter dot add fragment and we'll create a object of all the fragments and we'll pass the title as chats status and calls so let me quickly do that Now we're gonna set this adapter to our view pager.
and we are good to go now let me quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right okay guys the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen if i just swipe it left and right i can navigate to different apps so i guess we have successfully implemented this feature to our android application and i hope you guys have understood the code in case of any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your screen right now if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for today's video see you in another video bye